Yo, what is going on guys? It is Kobe here today with another Black Ops 2 weapon breakdown and comparison video. If you don't know, in this series I take two weapons, compare their raw stats, attributes, and characteristics, and from this we together try to determine which weapon may be better. So in today's video, we're going to be covering the MK48 and the LSAT. Now in past Call of Duties, a lot of people, you know, including me, thought that all LMGs were the same. They're just heavy weapons with a crap ton of ammo, and they made you move painfully slow. However, with Black Ops 2, they actually did a really good job of differentiating all of them, making each one's strengths another one's weakness. And by doing that, each LMG's effectiveness is tailored towards different situations and different playstyles, and that's what we're going to be uncovering today. So starting off with the damages, we see our first major difference. Although the statistical numbers may not show it, there is actually a huge difference. Although we only see a difference of 5 points between these two weapons' max damages, the MK48's 3-shot kill range is over double the size of the LSATs and quadruple the size of the other two LMGs. Not only that, but because of its ginormous minimum damage, the MK48 will take no more than 4 shots to kill at any range. No matter how far away an enemy is, it will only take 3-4 to four shots to kill. The amount of raw stopping power this weapon has is just far greater than any other automatic weapon in the game. Don't get me wrong, the LSAT is still very strong as well, just not as quite as strong as the MK48. The next big difference we see is the fire rates. Like the hammer, the MK48 shoots fairly slow at 600 rounds per minute, while the LSAT shoots at an average 720 RPM. However, average isn't a bad thing here. It's like what I said with the M27 in my last video. That medium RPM is ideal in most situations. Not too fast, not too slow. And in this situation with these two weapons, the LSAT's time to kill is much, much faster than the MK48's, assuming, of course, that you hit every bullet. But even though the MK48 600 RPM is pretty damn slow, I don't find it being a problem at all. Its damage is super high, so that really compensates for it. So with the fire rates, it's all personal preference. Now with the LSAT's faster fire rate, you would assume that it would have a smaller magazine, but both have a 100 round standard and a 135 round extended clip, which is larger than both the hammer and the QBB LSW. But with these large ammo capacities, you do have to suffer with the long reload times. The MK48 nearly takes 8 seconds to reload, while the LSAT takes around 7. However, you can take about 3 seconds off of both of them if you reload cancel. Still, 5 and 4 second reloads are nothing to mess with, but I don't really recommend using fast mag. But I do suggest not reloading till you're 100% safe or till you absolutely have to. Majority of people, you know, including me, have a habit of just reloading after every kill I get, no matter how many bullets are still in my clip. But because of their long reload times and large bullet capacities, you're better off not doing that and just reloading when you're actually out of ammo. Lastly, both of these weapons have really low recoil. The MK48 obviously has slightly less due to its lower RPM, but still compared to the other LMGs like the LSW, both MK and the LSAT are extremely accurate. But which one is better? Well for me, I really can't say. Both are just so incredibly powerful. The LSAT definitely has the upper hand in more close to medium range gunfights. Its higher rate of fire kills enemies ridiculously fast, but at longer ranges the MK48's damage just obliterates the other team. I know most people like the LSAT the best, but personally I like the MK48 a little bit more. I can hit majority of my shots, so the slow RPM doesn't hurt that much, and its recoil is pretty much non-existent. But like I said, both are extremely good and you really can't go wrong with either of them. So what do you guys think? Which do you prefer? Not necessarily which one is better, but after using them, which one would be your go-to LMG? Let me know down below. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this weapon breakdown and comparison video. If you want to see all the other ones I've made, I have links to my playlist down below in the description. I often see comments of suggestions for future videos, and on several occasions, those videos are actually already made, so go check those out if you want. If you want to support me and support the channel, likes and favorites are appreciated. If you're new and like what I do, hit that subscribe button. Last two videos on screen, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.